Again, and I know for an expert like yourself, it's a big step forward in the world of beach volleyball. Yeah, well, this day and age, it's all about feedback and technology and the world championships going to another level. We also have the Hawkeye system for any challenges that may take place. Each team gets two challenges per set. You got to use those wisely. And of course, play to 21, switch on increments of seven. The sun, not a factor today. There's a slight breeze. This is perfect beach volleyball weather. First point on the board for the Brazilians, but uh, giving it right back to Canada. Quick reminder, there's the Canadian colors, white and red, the shirt color for the North Americans. Brazil in their traditional green and yellow vests. So, wearing two for Canada with service, Melissa Humana Parades serving the ball to Larissa. And Larissa now on the attack for Brazil, over the block, but good cover from the Canadian. And again, Humana Parades is keeping Sarah Pavan busy at the net. The block is there, but the block is out of play from Pavan. 2-1 to Brazil. I think that's the first taste of what this match is going to be like, Dave. Superb play from all four on court. You're talking about a lot of experience on one side, the Brazilian side. Not as much on the Canadian side. Two of the winningest players of all time on Can on the Brazilian side, Canada winning their first event for both players, taking place a month ago in Porridge. So experience could be a factor. Pavan served by Talita. Talita successful at the block, but uh, young Humana Paredes, youngest player uh, on court at just 24 years of age, 10 and 11 years the junior to the Brazilian opposition, showing no sign of nerves in this bronze medal clash. Tying the scores at two points all. Now here's Pavan for Canada, tallest player on court at 1 metre 96. Left-handed player, of course, Pavan. Here's Larissa on the attack for Brazil. Oh, and that is a real power play. Big speed on the spike. Let's check the on the right of the screens. It's a 55 kilometer per hour float serve. That's a, just about 35 miles per hour. But Larissa's got some speed on the spike. There are the quick stats from the RTBS. In the info on both of our blockers out on court. Little trickler off the net, Pavan picks it up nicely. Humana Paredes puts that ball down, the advantage. Tied up now, it's three all. Good play from Canada. Here a little tip over the net by Humana Paredes. And noting that the blockers, Toledo right-handed, Sarah Pavan left-handed. You want to be left-handed if you play the right side where Sarah Pavan plays. It gives you a little advantage to go over on two and be more of a weapon as a setter as you see Larissa rip it down the line. We'll get our first side change right here. Inside out, down the line, Pavan blocking, cross court. It's not the right call. Talita to serve for Brazil. 34-year-old from Rio de Janeiro. Oh, service error from Talita. That's a little uh, frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. Float serve right there, going long, 61 kilometers per hour. And there's Sarah Pavan. The tallest woman's player in the tournament at six foot five. She goes back around and doesn't put that away. Here's that beautiful defense from Brazil. Well, uh, Canada got caught out of position. At one point, it was Humana Paredes that was at the net and Pavan was in defense. When they finally sort themselves out, it just leaves the court wide open for Brazil to put the point away. This World Tour final fours with 62 gold medals against her name. She's got the full set of World Championship medals back home, Dave. She's got a gold, silver, a couple of bronzes.
but uh, let's take nothing away from this Brazilian player. She looks as hungry today as she did all those years ago when she collected her first World Championship medal. Yeah, and she won all those championships and all those medals in World Championships with Juliana Felisberta, who has since retired the best finish of bronze in 2009 for Toledo. Float serve at 60 kilometers per hour, catches out Toledo. Some good quick points on the board for Canada, soon taking care of the Brazilian break. Tying the scores now at six all. Here's Melissa Umana Paredes with Canada's serve again. Targeting Toledo. Good speed on the ball, good position for the young defender. Now on the attack. Toledo drops off the net to cover. Cross court. This is exactly the start we expected. Remember in the, some of the early rounds, you get a team come out on center court and be a little nervous, have some jitters, take some time to get into it. These four players very prepared, ready to go on the opening whistle. Evenly matched as well, I'd say, Dane. Here's Larissa for Brazil on the attack. Oh, and not quite in the position that she was hoping for. Kumana Paredes there for Canada. Just uh, shanking that ball into the stadium after a real powerful spike here from Larissa. 72.95 kilometers per hour. That's uh, just shy of 45 miles uh, per hour. Talita with service from Brazil. Long way off the net, that was a difficult set for the young Canadian. The break back with uh, Brazil so quickly, 9-6. to six. Brazil looking a lot sharper than yesterday when they played Laura Ludwig and Kira Valkenhorst, the Olympic gold medalist in 2016. Right now they are jumping all over Canada at every single corner. And I believe that Canada has seen enough. They're going to call a timeout and think this thing over as Brazil gets up four. There's Larissa making you pay if you're out of position at all. And the sharp focus of Brazil has really got them in command so far. Yeah, Brazil's showing their class and quality there, Dave. And they're almost like boxers, aren't they? They have this sense that they can feel the opposition is weakening, and then they score points so quickly. They're at the back of the court, in with the play, and literally four on the board from nowhere was most impressive. Those four points in a row right there, Brazil starting to really turn it up on the court. You know, yesterday, in terms of their potential, Brazil's potential, they completely came up a little bit short because they just weren't on their game. And it seems like they're out to make it up and make sure that they represent and get on to that podium. RTBS on screen, energy 85 kcals for Talita, 16 jumps, Pavan 108 kcals against 18 jumps. And we're only at 10-6 in the first set. Real-time body sensor giving us some interesting information. Pavan puts that ball away, uh, clearly justifying the call for the timeout and breaking that rhythm of the Brazilian team. Talking about the measure with the kcals, with the distance move and the jumps, we had a match this morning with players over 600 kcals burned, so watch that kcal number increase as the event goes on. Pavan with service, serving Talita, who now attacks for Brazil, over the top of Pavan's block. That's a beautiful rainbow shot from uh, Talita. Not an easy one to do with the tallest player in the competition up at the net, but uh, real skill. Now, here's Larissa for Brazil. Float serve at 62 kilometers per hour, and that is right on the line. Humana Paredes right now, threading the needle. Didn't look like there was much room. Looked like Toledo was blocking line. Larissa running on the line, but still, the shot's so effective that it still goes just to the outside of the line. Humana Paredes at 24 years of age, really making improvements every single time she steps out on that court. That's a really nice short float serve from the young Canadian. 
And uh, also some good cover at the back of court. Uh, Pavan is down, she's going to have to skyball this because her partner's only just getting back to the net. Talita on the attack now for Brazil. Good cover again from uh, Humana Paredes, who attacks for Canada and puts it right at the body of Talita as she's dropping off the net. That is a very smart play from the youngster. It really is. Any time that you see that blocker try to sneak off the net quickly at the end, as Talita does, you go right at her. See, Talita's feet, they're still moving. She's not balanced. Therefore, she can't dig the ball effectively. Smart play by the 24-year-old Humana Paredes. Showing some real emotion as well. Now, there are 20 points on the board. When we hit a total score of 21 on the scoreboard, we have a technical timeout, an official 30-second break. And it's important for Canada to try and pull this one back. Again, targeting Talita with the service. Talita attacks, cross court. Well, very calm and cool, aren't they, Brazil? 12 to 9 as we go into that technical timeout. I don't like the drop right there by Sarah Pavin. Six foot five frame, stay at the net, press over, get the blocks. That is what she is most effective at. With the advantage of three points, 12 to nine to Brazil, the halfway point of set one in this bronze medal match, penultimate match of the women's tournament here at the Red Bull Beach Arena. Now, Brazilian serve placement Interesting that the majority are right down the middle. The yellow ball's ace, so no aces for Brazil yet. The red ball is a return. Not quite sure whether they're targeting one player or the other. Straight down the middle with the majority of their serves, Dane. Yeah, they're kind of, kind of going right down the middle, trying to feel out maybe who's going to give them a few points here and there. Remember, Humana Paredes has great control, and Sarah Pavin playing with some solid power. Let's get some more information from the RTBS. Now, energy and distance covered. 0.4 kilometers, 0.6 kilometers. Again, we keep watching that information grow as the match unfolds and uh, see which team has the most energy left to hold on to the bronze model. Another great dig from Humana Paredes, who attacks for Canada. Almost catches Talita, falling back off the net. Oh! she gets on top of that ball the youngster gives another point to Brazil 13-9 now as good as Canada is playing they are making a couple of unforced errors at the wrong time the deep corner probably open there and Talita she constantly drops off the net so Sarah Pavin has to be very particular on where she sets Humana Paredes. Remember, Melissa Humana Paredes, not the tallest player out there. At five feet, nine inches. And so that set's gotta be in the right spot. Yeah, service ace there for um, to lead a little help from the net. We have no uh, net ball in the Wilder Beach Volleyball with the modern era. These two teams met uh, last month in the last uh, FIVB World Tour competition in uh, Olsen. And uh, the Brazilians came out on top, but it was a gruelling three-setter. Canadians looking for revenge here, and that's a lovely cross-court shot from Pavan to Larissa to put a point back on the board for Canada. Big power from the right side. Pavan challenging Larissa. That ball just hit a little bit too hard, especially if Larissa, one of the greatest defenders we've ever seen, usually controlling those hard spikes. Yeah, 40 miles per hour spike from Pavan. Oh, there's a little shank on the serve. Talita, though, well, gets her partner out of trouble because Larissa was down on the sand and going nowhere. Great play from the Brazilians. That's beautiful. Look at the change of direction by Larissa. And a great team always betters the ball, the hit speed 61.84 kilometers per hour another big kiss off the net but this time uh, Humana Paredes reads it perfectly good set for Pavan puts it away nicely that's what I'm talking about right there having the ability to go over on the second contact with that left hand 
It's advantageous to be a right side player and be left handed as Sarah Pavin shows right there with the option play. There's the young Canadian with service. 11-15. Talita for Brazil. Pavin's there. And that's what Canada needs to find more of. Pavin, the best blocker in the tournament so far, but uh, could do with a few more here right now. Yeah, to get back in, Sarah Pavin has to own the airspace ab above the net right there. She shows you how to block right back into the court, targeting it so well. Good serve from Humana Paredes. Talita now with a little tip, a little poke of the shot. 16-12, they've still got that four-point advantage. And to be fair, Dave, Brazil could just trade side outs now and uh, take this first set quite easily. And that's what usually their game plan is. Get a cushion, then sit back, receive serve, and be strong. They continue to put pressure because they would love to expand on this lead. Here's another opportunity. Oh, and again, cross court from Talita. She's having a really good match here, Talita. Can almost do no wrong. Talita and Larissa, fourth place finish in the Rio Olympics. Not long ago, they would have loved to have been on the podium there. Trying to make amends in this world championship and get on the podium. Look at that little tacti tactical float serve over the net. Just 42 kilometers per hour, but it completely catches the Canadians on their heels. Sarah Pavin's got to be ready for that. That's a crucial point. Lovely touch on the ball from Talita, her second ace. As we said, really enjoying her play here in this opening set. Confidence continues to grow for the Brazilians. Six clear. Talita, oh, there's confusion from both the Canadian players. Pavan takes it, but uh, Imano Paradis was way out of position, also thinking that the ball was hers. Pavan passes that middle ball. Probably want to give that one to Humana Paredes, and Humana Paredes lost track of where that ball was. A little confusion. Two times FIVB Tour Champion, eight times FIVB Tour Champion, showing the experience of when it's all falling apart for Canada now. Brilliant point run from uh, Talita. Side outs have been used up, there's nowhere to go for Canada. 20 to 12, first set's looking good for Brazil. Talita, again targeting Humana Paredes. Paredes on the attack. Larissa has got those hands there and looks to finish this first set for Brazil. Oh, lovely dig from Melissa. But then throws it away. 21 to 12, set one goes to Brazil in this uh, bronze medal match. And that is a pretty healthy victory for the Brazilian favorites. Brazil way sharper than this Canadian team here today. Canada's been sharp all tournament long, and possibly after the loss yesterday to Lauren Fendrick and April Ross, they haven't been able to get back on track. This cut shot doesn't even clear the net, and we always mention it, if you win 21-16, 21-17, it is an effective win, but 21-12, it is in the books. That is a bit of a shellacking, a beating, and Canada can't be happy about it. They will try to rebound looking at the match statistics. Four to one in aces for Brazil. Not a lot of blocks going on. Remember, Sarah Pavin has to get more blocks for Canada to win. Let's go to the Virtual Red Bull Beach Arena, serve placement from Canada. Again, it's uh, pretty even, uh, four to three to Talita and Larissa, 42%. The most serves going straight down the line in search for those aces, but they just didn't come that Canada's way. We're already up and running with the second set, and the first point on the board for Canada, and that is Sarah Pavan with that block, Dave. I think she heard you. 
If not, she knows that that has been the secret weapon for Canada throughout this tournament. She's got to get more blocks and get them quickly to try and take this third set or go to a tie-break third set. Yeah, I mean, that is her signature move. That is what she is best at, is blocking up at the net. So she needs to catch a little fire there. You know what that data from the Red Bull Virtual Arena tells me is that Canada doesn't really have a clear-cut strategy because they're going to both Larissa and Talita trying to feel them out. And what it's done is it's allowed Larissa and Talita to be fully engaged. That time, Alyssa Yumana Paredes fully engaged with a crushing cross court to the deep corner. Pavan, cross court service to Talita this time. And uh, Talita puts that ball out of play. Is she going to challenge? Yes, she is. Gets the attention from the referee nice and quickly. Block touch is what the challenge is for. Remember, both teams have two challenges. If you're successful, you retain the challenges. If you are unsuccessful, you lose it. This is a block touch or a ball. Is it a ball in or out or a block touch challenge? It's very important to know what they have requested so that they can look at it in the review book. Didn't look like a touch on the block. Yeah, it's a block touch challenge, and I don't see the touch, so no touch there. It's going to be out of bounds point for Canada, and Brazil will retain one challenge for this set. Pavan to serve for Canada. With the break early on, they have to win the second set to take it to a third tie break. Good cross-court spike from Talita of Brazil, pulling uh, a point back. RTBS shows us 38 jumps for Talita, 36 jumps for Pavan. Interesting stats for the two blockers on court. And that confusion from the Canadians for the second time. Now they sort themselves out. Talita drops off the net, sets for Larissa. Larissa on the attack to tie the scores. Good cover from Humana Paradis, who now attacks for Canada. Oh, quick hands from Brazil. Talita finishes it off to tie the scores at three all. Lightning speed from end to end, but Brazil come out on top again, Dave. That's why it's so fun to watch this Brazilian duo. They can do it all, they never give up, and they make some miraculous plays just when you think that ball is going to be a kill for Humana Paredes. It's Brazil with the dig, and they go right back at Sarah Pavin to win the point. Of course, Brazil, who won the last round of the FIVB World Tour, Prior to these championships here in Vienna, started off as the number one seeds, only to be beaten in the semis. They're now showing all of their skills and uh, a game here. Canada get a valuable point to go back into the lead, but uh, Brazil really pushing the Canadians to the limit of their game. Fortunately, the weather has cooled down considerably here in Vienna. And that's making it a lot more comfortable for the players. Oh, there's a lovely ace serve and a timely one at bat for young uh, Melissa Humana Paredes. It's the second ace of the match. Most importantly, a break for Canada at 5-3. to three. Canada needs a little more of that right there. The ball bouncing in their direction. Down the line for Talita. It was a lovely serve at 54 kilometers per hour from the young Canadian. Lovely strike from Talita. And here's her partner, Larissa, with service. You know why that's so special is because that's one of Larissa's moves. <laughs> and the young 24-year-old Humana Paredes has taken beautiful notes. How about that? A little concerned as it went over, and then when she saw it in, 
the little smile to her face. I call Melissa Humana Paredes the smiling assassin because <laughs> she brings you in with the smile, but she is as passionate and as competitive as any player you'll ever see. Pavan serves Talita. Good save. Pavan sets for Humana Paredes. Oh, she's got a little bit of luck on her side at the moment, hasn't she, the 24-year-old from uh, Toronto. Playing a little bit with the equipment, the Canadians here <laughs> in this second set. Nice little trickle play mid-rally, and Canada will take it. Pavan possibly starting to target Talita with the service now. There again is a good save from Humana Paredes, who decides just to skyball to regain position. Pavan up at the net. Uh, Sarah Pavan for the first time in this tournament looking just a little frustrated. That was a rip cross court. I've seen that in the men's game a few times. Ball going high off the chest of Humana Paredes. Fearless defender hanging in there. And a rifle of a hit from Larissa. Back set for Humana Paredes. And she's got them dropping off the net on the retreat in preparation for that power play. But the youngster again fires it to the body of Talita. She's had success with that shot two, three occasions now. Look at the RTBS. 34 jumps for Humana Paredes in comparison to 24 for Larissa. No wonder she's burning more calories. Nice shot. Side switch. 14 points on the board. Calculate a multiple of seven. Larissa's one of those players that seems like she's very efficient in her movements. Always conserving energy, making it look easy, and her KCAL count is pretty low. Well, uh, Pavan using the block, the shot off the block of Talita there. Sarah Pavan, a fifth place finish in the Olympics with her former partner Heather Bansley. They broke up after the Olympics and she has found the new young 2014 Rookie of the Year, Melissa Humana Paredes. Good shot from Talita. Almost there with the block, Pavan. No, Sarah Pavan's story is so interesting. She's traditionally an indoor player, tries to get the block right there, but when she realized she was getting a little older and her chances of making the Olympics with the Canadian indoor team were dwindling, that's when she switched her game to the beach. The one name she knew was Heather Bansley, who she called up, and they had a four-year partnership culminating with that Rio run. There's an ace serve, a little trickler action for the Brazilians, but after beach season, Sarah Pavan still plays indoor professionally. Lovely shot from Sarah Pavan. And I think that's the remarkable part of the story. She can make that switch to the indoor game, to the beach game, and play at such a high level. There's very few players in the world that have that skill or ability, Dane. Yeah, and we're seeing it on the men's side. An interesting story brewing in the World Championships is the Netherlands. Van Garderen, only been playing beach volleyball for three months. He finds himself in the semifinals with Christian Varenhorst, who was in the finals a year ago. But for a, a kid moving from indoor volleyball to beach volleyball so late, I spoke to him after his last win, and this guy has a smile from ear to ear. He's living a dream. He cannot believe that he's in the semifinals of the World Championships. Lovely cut on the ball from uh, Humana Paredes. Nice tactical serve from Canada. But it's the play at the net from the young Canadian that's most impressive. Climbing the ladder, Humana Paredes with great touch on the ball.
Salita gets the better of Pavan at the net. That was an important point on the board for Brazil going into the technical timeout. Halfway point of this second set. Canada have the lead by 11 points to 10. But uh, most of you out there know the rules of beach volleyball. You have to win this second set if you're Canada right now to take it to a tie break third. A nasty little gash on their elbow there. Dane, that's the Coursera Pavan on screen. And uh, that's just a little cut right there. But if you hit the sideline, sometimes that can happen. Or possibly a rock in the sand. We're not sure exactly how that happened. But she's getting that quick medical attention. She'll be fine. Have a look at the uh, serve placement of the Canadian team here. So, the yellow ball tells us an ace, there's one down. A little bit more towards Talita's side of the court. And uh, I think that's a tactic that's been paying dividends. Trying to keep Larissa out of the match, focusing the serve to Talita. And uh, Canada having a lot more success in the second set than they were in the first. Take a quick look at the RTBS. Real-time body sensor. A lot of ground already being covered. 1.2 kilometres by both the Brazilian and Canadian players. Good score for Canada. 12-10 coming immediately out of that tech timeout. Sarah Pavan, those KCAL starting to rise over 300 and over 1.2 kilometres. You know why Pavin has that distance? Because she's the full-time blocker. She has to not only have an offensive attack, but she has to start as a server, run all the way to the net. The defender doesn't have to travel so far. Cross court is covered nicely by Humana Paredes, but that's why they're trying to keep Larissa out of the match, because when she gets that arm swing, it is a mighty play. Power and speed on the ball. And uh, Brazil within one point of Canada. Well, you know, when you're dealing with Larissa, it is always about the arm. The powerful shot, the finesse shot, she always has varying speeds. And that's why the competition, they're always guessing. Oh, good shot from Pavan. Such an important point as well. 13-11 to hold the break. High poke shot. Fortunate for Pavin, she saw that Larissa was sliding in there. Instead of going short, she goes to the deep corner. It's the right call. This is a 30-year-old from Kitchener, Ontario. Gives the point right back to Brazil. And uh, Canada cannot afford those errors. Uh, they lost the first set 21 to 12. KCAL's rising, 292, 227 for Humana Paredes and Larissa. Both the defenders a kilometre and 1.2 kilometres covered on court. Nice tactical serve there, 37 kilometres per hour. It's not all about speed and power on the ball. Nice little touch there from Canada, give them a valuable point. I like that tactical short serve and Pavin played it perfectly. Little collision at the net between Talita and Pavin. Talita motioning to the referee as she was on the ground. Wow. Larissa relentless on the right side. When you serve Larissa, you know what? She takes it as a challenge. And you can tell as that little extra juice, 65 kilometers per hour, that rip right down the line. Why would you serve Larissa is my uh, question. Uh, she's so good at the back and front of court. Now here's Pavan on the attack for Canada. That left arm swing, very deceiving, very difficult to judge for the opposition. Beautiful play, break back with Canada, 15 to 13. Quick side switch, total of 28 points on the board. Beautiful set to the outside by Humana Paredes. 
And then a very accurate shot down the line. Need to keep the focus here now, Canada. Good play from Pavan to keep the ball up. And a wonderful save from Humana Paredes. Oh, what a play. The youngster, first of all, an amazing dig with Larissa at full power. And then she puts it away, makes the kill. Canada are three clear at 16-13. Wow, this is volleyball right here. Humana Paredes in the impact zone, doesn't flinch, rips that ball up in the air defensively, takes Larissa's best shot, and then she converts it into offense with the smooth finesse shot that Talita is groveling in the sand and she just can't get there. Talk about precision. Pavan continues with this good service run for Canada. Over to Talita. Now that's the tactic that's been best for them. Back serve from Larissa. Again, Humana Paredes gets one hand there. It's with the Brazilians attacking. Talita. And this time, Pavan cannot make it. No block from Pavan, and Humana Paredes can only save so many of those power plays, Dave. It's unbelievable. It's almost as if she knows where the ball is going before it's hit. She's having a great time. You can see anticipating defensive plays and controlling it. Service error from Talita. That's not going to help the Brazilian cause to try and wrap this bronze medal match up in two sets. Three clear now, Canada. 17 to 14. Humana Paredes already with two aces, looking for a third. Oh, Pavan finds her block at the net. Big point for Canada. Mana Paredes with service for Canada. Oh, and this time no luck from the tape of the net for Canada. Falls their side of the court. Point back for Brazil. Three behind Canada, but Brazil won the first set 21 to 12. Larissa with service. Pavan with the set. Over the top of the block. Lovely shot from Humana Paredes. And they're getting closer, aren't they? They're getting very close to taking this to a three set tiebreak 19 to 15. And the star of this second set has been. Melissa, Humana Paredes, look at that contact. Open roll down the line, and she pinpoints it really nicely with a four-point lead for Canada. Pavan with service. Now they've found the tactic that works, serving everything to Talita. Talita cross-court. Hands were there. Well, a side switch once again, not a lot of advantage at either end of the Red Bull Beach Arena. Sun is covered by the cloud, very little wind. This could get very interesting. These two teams have met twice before. Talita and Larissa winning both of those. One in a gold medal final in Poland just about 10 days ago. Oh, again, it's the youngster that gives Canada a set point here. Melissa Humana Paredes can do no wrong, brimming with confidence. <laughs> Loving her first uh, senior championship medal opportunity. And uh, Canada are right back in this bronze medal match. Set point number one. Deep serve to Talita. The ball is out and it's all over. Just waiting for the confirmation from the referee. 21 to 16.
This ball hits the top of the tape. Talita doesn't get wide enough on her initial approach, and when that clips the top of the net, when you're hitting angle, there's not a lot of room for error. A lot of times an angle hit the hits the top of the net will end up out of bounds, and that is exactly the case there with Toledo. So Canada come back into the match, taking the second set, 21 points to 16, forcing the Brazilian duo into a 15-point tie-break third set. The stats start to even up now, don't they? With uh, Canada taking that at second set. Fascinating. Now, the virtual map shows us the Canadian spike placement. And it's all going to the left of the court. That's where most success is coming, 57%. But look how they're keeping and trying everything they can to keep Larissa out of this match with both service and with their attacking spike play. Well, who has got the energy, who has got the will and the determination? Let's get a quick RTBS, Pavan. 393 KCAL, 66 jumps. Talita, 335 to 70. Now all four players out on court need to dig deep. Humana Paredes sets Pavan. Pavan cross court to Talita. Talita has to just chip it over. Over on two for the youngster. First point in the third tiebreak set for Canada. Melissa Humana Paredes is so impressive, so composed at just 24 years of age, and she is the MVP as far as I'm concerned in this bronze medal final so far, stepping up her game and really pinpointing every single contact. Again, the target is Talita with serve for Canada. Pavan at the net. Second point on the board for Canada. Watch out when Brazil starts to get frustrated. Things can go south really quick. They have to side out and get a point here. Young Melissa Amanda Perez with a big deep serve. Almost shanked that one to Lita. Another good save from the youngster. Can she finish it? And Canada go three clear. Right at Larissa. And they've caught her. Brazil on the back foot here. Beautiful start, and I must remind you, we're only heading to 15 points in this sprint tiebreak third set, not 21. This is just incredible. You see this so much, and it's the reason that beach volleyball is so exciting. Brazil destroyed Canada in the first set. So for Canada to have this type of a turnaround, remember it was 21 to 12. They have turned it around, and the momentum is all theirs with an opportunity to score. Four points clear. And again, it's all the youngster, just 24 years of age. A couple of years ago, she was playing in the Under-23 World Championships, where she took a silver. She's had a spectacular season with Pavan, and this truly would be a dream come true because Melissa Humana Paradas is just hunting everything down. Brazil have had enough, Dane. Only four points into the third set, and they've called the timeout to try and refigure this one out. to 15 in terms of successful attacks. 12 for Brazil, 15 for Canada, and three errors for Canada, but right now Canada looks extremely sharp. You know, that's the most communication we've seen between Larissa and Talita. Larissa kind of giving some instructions right there to her partner. There's the RTBS. Larissa at 290 K cows. Humana Paredes, 379. 52 jumps for Melissa. 36 for Larissa. Oh, right down the middle with the spike. 5-0 for Canada. We switch sides with every five in a tie-break third set. RTBS real-time body sensor giving us some fascinating information. A new innovation for these world championships of beach volleyball. But you don't need me to tell you that Canada 
are absolutely on fire right now. And Brazil seem to be struggling for the answers. Again, Talita is the target with service. Finally, Brazil get a point on the board. Big spike from Talita. Can they pull this back? Who would have thought Brazil going down 5-0 to zero in this quick sprint set to 15 points. We saw at that last break, Talita and Larissa having an in-depth conversation there. We all recall when Larissa used to play with Juliana, she was a lot more definitive as Talita gets the block there. And she used to kind of get in her partner's face. That's not the relationship that Larissa and Talita have. Much more mature, much more calm, and it's gonna take everything for Larissa to get her team back on track. They've dug themselves a hole, but it starts with a play just like that. Now, this is the sign of quality professional athletes. Calm, cool, slowly going about their business and pulling those points back. Canada, understandably, pull a timeout. Five points back to back, then three points back to back for Brazil. The break and advantage is still with the Canadians, but they've decided to try and break that flow and rhythm. I delayed my television the last time. So she can't have that. Interesting communication. The crowd absolutely loving this bronze medal match. Sarah Pavan talking about delaying her block. It's all about technique as this crowd has been absolutely incredible. We're at day nine at the FIVB World Championships of Beach Volleyball and not an empty seat in the place. Lines out the door to get in. <laughs> Pavan serves Humana Paredes and that justifies Canada's call for a timeout. That makes it really worthwhile. Six to three. So hard to get separation. And Canada jumping out to that five to zero lead. Then Brazil scoring three of their own. And now we're at six to three. Smart plays like that. Humana Paredes high off the block. Pavan with service for Canada. Little kiss off the net serving Talita at 53 kilometers per hour. Uh, Talita now not panicking at all. That's what I like about the Brazilian style of play, Dave. They're very cool and calm when the pressure is really on. Yeah, and that's what makes them the team that they are, and that's why they've had so much success and so many wins. 34 wins for Talita, 62 wins. We've mentioned Larissa the winningest female player of all time on the FIVB Tour, and there's an ace. Couldn't come at a more important time, could it, for Brazil? The young Canadian not getting a hold of that service at all. They're now within one point, the Brazilians. She gets it right the second time, though, doesn't she? Nice drop shot. Pavan drops off the net. Imana Paredes needs to push this. Cross court. Oh, what a great save from Canada. Canada starting to feel the pressure. Up 5-0. to zero. Brazil closing the gap. And now Imana Paredes with a beautiful cut shot to get Canada back on track. Serve to Talita. Toledo attacks now for Brazil. Pavan is there with a touch on the block. More success is needed from that block. It's such a key weapon for Canada. Surprising that Pavan hasn't had the domination at the net, yet they still have this lead. Another good shot down the line this time from uh, Melissa Humana Paredes. 
Just two blocks today for Pavin. Talita has the same amount of blocks. And I believe that Pavin would have to double that number to get the win. But right now they're doing it in other areas, especially the defense of Humana Paredes. There it is again. Good cover from Larissa in the Brazilian court. Now she attacks. It's out of play. Nine to six to Canada. That three point buffer now starts to look very handy indeed as we get closer and closer to the 15 point target of this third tie break set. That last hit by Larissa looked extremely close, almost challengeable, but no call. Pavan serving Talita. Good play from Larissa, her partner. Not quite sure why Pavan's dropping off the net there, Dave. Looked like Larissa touched the net. Check this out. She goes up pulls that ball back, and Pavin, you're right, should stay at the net and block. You're the tallest blocker in the World Championships, and you are an intimidating force. You got to use it. Oh, Sarah Pavin. Is she starting to get a little tired? A lapse in concentration again from the 30-year-old brings Brazil within one point of Canada. Maybe a little nerves. These two teams have played twice before, as we mentioned. The last time, just about 10 days ago in Poland, it was 16-14 in the third set, going to Larissa and Talita. Talita attacks for Brazil, cross court. Good save from Humana Paredes again. She's gone to the... with a cut shot now, Larissa for Brazil. Humana Paredes again keeps the ball up, but can't finish it. Oh, Larissa can with a golden shot. That was the most incredible rally of this match here. I was going to say, Melissa Humana Paredes just made maybe a match-saving dig, but then all of a sudden, it is Larissa on the Brazilian side making incredible defensive shots, covering right there for Talita. Look at her pivot and turn. And then she comes in and goes high over the line. An incredible rally by both defenders, really going head to head. Scores are all tied at 9 all. Pavan goes over on two. Talita reads it. And for the first time in this tie break set, Brazil take the lead, 10 to nine. Just incredible. And now the fact that Brazil is up 10 to nine, remember Nick, they started five to zero. That means they're on a 10 to four run. That's a shot from Pavan. Scores are all tied at 10 all. Side switch. 10-4 run, you don't see that very often. A lot of teams that get down 5-0 to zero in a game to 15 might have just packed up their bags and headed back to the hotel, not Brazil. Ramona Paredes with service. Service error. It's a float serve at 56 kilometers per hour. That's 35 MPH. But it's just past the baseline. Well left by the Brazilians. Here's a challenge, whether that ball was in or out, initial call was out of bounds. And there's the ruling, that one really not close. That's one of those situations where we believe the athlete might have been just using the challenge to get a little breather. Another good dig from Humana Paredes. Goes to Talita with the attack, but Talita has it covered. Talita finishes it. Oh, is that ball good? And the ball is out. Scores are all tied at 11 points all. This one. Oh, there's a challenge now from Brazil. I think now Larissa just seeing if she can get something going here on whether there was a block touch at the net. Brazil lost that point. The out of bounds by Toledo. The big question, did 
Sarah Pavin reach over and get any part of it. I don't believe that she did. She looked pretty confident right there back on the service line. But Talita and Larissa, they're using it to brush their glasses off and get a little extra time. A little drama building. Here's the look. Clearly out of bounds. The fingers do not move. No touch. And once again, the referees are on point here in Red Bull Arena Center Court. Yes. Uh, good work from uh, Mariko Satomi, Suzanne Lowry. First and second referees. A little bit of confusion from Brazil, but they still keep the ball up. Good cover from Humana Paredes, who now attacks for Canada. Oh, one-hand save from Larissa. And the same from Pavan. Now Pavan attacks, sees the gap, puts the ball down. The advantage is back with Canada at 12 points to 11. Either of these two teams could claim bronze, but Canada go back into the lead. I can't believe the dig by Sarah Pavan after a miraculous dig from Larissa. She's the defensive specialist, but Pavan, she's a blocker. She gets back and then gets a set from Humana Paredes, and there is that smile. Humana Paredes knows that now Canada is starting to taste that bronze. Pavan with service. Left-handed serve to Talita. Talita now attacks for Brazil. Oh, she's there. And they just scramble the ball up. Unbelievable hustle from the Canadians. Pavan with the block. Talita on the attack. Cross court, perfect position. Scores all tied, 12 all. How about that? It looked like the Pavan wall was in full effect. Yumana Paredes somehow gets that ball before it hits the sand. And then being aggressive, always a good trait. Toledo with a 68.28 kilometer per hour hit. Right there, about 43 miles per hour. Uh-oh, that's trouble. Larissa. Oh, and she can't control the ball. Young Gimana Paredes in the right place, but uh, too much power and topspin on that spike shot from Larissa on screen. Brazil back with the lead at 13 to 12. Now let's take a look at the RTBS Energy. 533 kcals, 90 jumps for Pavan. 458, 95 jumps for Talita. Does that uh, RTBS stats tell us that Brazil just working that little bit harder because they're putting the points on the board and now drawing clear. It is match point Brazil. Next play is for the bronze. Sarah Pavan having some trouble in serve reception. Now the pressure mounts for Canada. Can they make a save? Larissa with service, serving Pavan. Pavan on the attack for Canada to stay in it. Good shot from Sarah Pavan. Huge pressure on the Canadians. They do not buckle. Second match point for Brazil. Canada must score on serve here. The youngster, Melissa Humana Paredes. Serves Talita. Oh, it's a shank from Talita, but Larissa saves her. Pavan composes. Again, a pro an error from Talita. Oh, they've got it! Brazil! Now there's going to be a challenge. Did she touch the net? I'm not sure what Talita is complaining about. I think she's saying she did not net. Somebody was in the net on that last play. And a net violation is the official call. And the challenge request is coming from Brazil, saying that there was no net touch. Five seconds. No, they have five seconds on the She's saying they have five seconds. And she made the challenge with plenty of time. She made it immediately after the call, so. Not sure why Sarah Pavan would be arguing this.
There's the net. Toledo all over the net. A little collision. She tries to walk the tight, tight rope right there, but that's going to be a net fault and a point for Canada. Wow. Well, uh, Pavan needs to calm down a little and focus on her game here, because it's 14 all, having a real stern talking to with Lowry and the uh, first referee, Satomi. All square, you have to win by two, remember. Humana Paredes serves Talita. Talita on the attack for Brazil. Pavan's at the net. Talita goes down the line. Match point for Brazil again. Third one. That looked like the ball was set a little bit too tight. Something you don't want to do against Sarah Pavin, but fearless is Talita ripping it down the alley between the blocker and the antenna. Can Brazil take bronze here? Can Canada come back again? They have to side out. Talita with the service for Brazil. Talita serves Pavin. Lovely set from her partner. Make it look so easy, don't they? Beautiful from Canada. Scores all tied at 15 all. Quick switch of sides. RTBS, 5.15 cows, 2.2 kilometers distance from Humana Paradis. 4.20 and 1.8 kilometers for Larissa. Real time body sensor information. Pavan serves. Oh, Larissa this time, and she did not expect that at all. I'll tell you what, that is a massive error by Canada. They manufacture the points coin opportunity with a beautiful serve by Pavin. But she's running to the net, doesn't expect the ball to come over on one. And a very unfortunate play by Canada. Wow. Fourth match point for Brazil here. Canada, Canada need to save it again. Pavin with that left arm. And she does save it again. 16 points all. A remarkable play from all four players on court. Either team could take this, to be fair. But it's Canada with service. Melissa Humana Paredes, 24-year-old from Toronto, Ontario. Serves Talita. Larissa sets her partner. Oh, and again, Pavan gets just one hand there on the block. Well, Canada, they, they're really targeting Talita, and she's been fearless in her attempts against Pavin. Pavin needs to come up with a block if this is going to switch. Match point again for Brazil. Good set from Humana Paredes. Talita covers nicely. Talita looks to finish it. Larissa this time over the block. Brazil take bronze. It's all 